And I can announce that Greater Manchester will move to the very high alert level. We tried to get an, uh, an approach with local leaders in Greater Manchester, uh, a joint approach. Unfortunately, agreement wasn't reached, and I do regret this. I know that these restrictions are tough, both on businesses and individuals, and believe me, no one wants to uh, be putting these things uh, into effect. But that's why we're also uh, enacting a comprehensive package of support. Uh, the job support scheme ensures those affected by business closures uh, are still paid. Those affected by business closures are still paid. And once you top that up with universal credit, those on low incomes will receive at least 80% of their normal income. We've made available up to £465 million to help local authorities implement and enforce restrictions. Greater Manchester will receive £22 million of this, uh, and that's on top of the extra £1 billion uh, we're providing in funding for local authorities across the whole country. In addition, I'm, I must say, to the uh, support outlined above, we made a generous and extensive offer to support Manchester's business. I want to stress, this offer was proportionate to the support we've given Merseyside and Lancashire. The Mayor didn't accept this, unfortunately, uh, and given the public health situation, I must now proceed with moving Greater Manchester, as I say, to the very high alert level. Because not to act would put Manchester's NHS and the lives of many of Manchester's residents at risk. Uh, despite the failure to reach an agreement, I hope the Mayor and Council leaders in Greater Manchester will now work with us to implement these measures.